Hello students, I am Mrs. Usha Vasani, your social studies teacher with a new learning video. I hope you and your family members are in good health. I know the time is a bit challenging for all of us and so we teachers are trying our best to reach out to you students by making some learning videos. I hope you all are listening to all the videos carefully and sincerely. Today, we are going to learn about the movements of the earth and their effects. That is our chapter number three. First, let me tell you the learning objective of this lesson. We will learn what is rotation and its effects, what is revolution and its effects, seasons and what is equinox and solstice. Then we will do a short recap of the whole learning. And lastly, as you all know, like every time, mind map. This learning technique will help you summarize the whole lesson in a short and easy way. You have already read about the two movements of the earth taking place simultaneously. These two movements are rotation and revolution. Let us find out more about these movements. Let us begin with a small experiment. Take a bangle. Now after taking a bangle, if you spin a bangle, you will see a faint line running through its center. This is bangle's axis. In the same way, students, when the earth rotates, it rotates on its axis once in 24 hours from west to east. Now, when, now, as the sun rises from the east, it starts its rotation from the opposite side, that is, from the west. Therefore, this movement of the earth once in 24 hours on its axis is called rotation. Let us understand what are the effects of rotation. Rotation causes day and night. Now, look at the screen and try to understand what I'm trying to tell you. You can see the picture of earth and sun both. Now as the earth rotates, the side facing the sun has day and the part facing away from the sun has night. It also influences the direction of the flow of ocean currents and direction of winds. It also causes tides which is rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice a day. Places on the east get to see the sun first and so Japan, which lies in the extreme east of the eastern hemisphere, is called the land of rising sun. Now let us understand what is revolution. While it is rotating on its axis, the earth is also revolving around the sun. The earth follows a fixed path or route to move around the sun at a speed of about 30 kilometers per second. This path is the orbit. Now like earth, all the planets move around the sun in their own orbits. Coming back to earth, the movement of the earth which it revolves around the sun is known as revolution. The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to make one revolution. Students, as we know that the earth takes 365 and one fourth days to revolve around the sun. But in our calendar, a year has only 365 days. So what do we do with that? one foot or the quarter day. This quarter of the day is accumulated means added and after every four years when it becomes a day it is added to that particular year to the month of February. Thus February gets 29 days in that particular year. This year is known as the leap year and it has 366 days in that year. The year 2020 was a leap year. I hope you all remember. 
Now, can you tell me when the next two leap years will be? Yes, exactly. It will be in 2024 and 2028. To understand the concept of one extra day in the month of February every fourth year is a bit complicated, right? So I have shown the calculation of extra hours every year and how does it make one day at the end of every fourth year? Let us understand it properly. First of all, we all know that 24 hours make one day. So quarter of the day means six hours, right? We also know that 365 days make one year. Now children, Pay attention to the calculation shown on the screen. First year has 365 days and 6 hours extra. So that year February will have 28 days. Now coming to second year, it has 365 days and 6 hours plus the 6 hours of previous year. So it becomes 12 hours extra in that year. But yet, February will have 28 days only. Now moving to third year, it also has 365 days and 6 hours plus 12 hours of the previous two years and thus it has 18 extra hours but yet February will have 28 days only. The fourth year has 365 days and 6 hours plus 18 hours of previous three years, which becomes 24 hours. And as we all know that 24 hours make one day. So every fourth year, there will be one extra day, which will be added to the month of February. And that particular year will have 366 days. Children, I hope I have been able to make the concept of leap year clear to all of you. Let us know what are the effects of revolution. The most important effect of revolution is that it causes seasons. Seasons are caused due to the revolution of the earth around the sun and also due to the tilt of earth's axis. One part of the earth leaning towards the sun experiences summer season while the one leaning away experiences winter season. Therefore, there are four main seasons that the earth experiences. Summer, winter, spring and autumn. Students, let us understand seasonal configuration of earth and sun. Twice a year, the sun shines directly overhead the equator during equinoxes and once on each tropic during the solstices. Now let us understand equinox first. What is equinox? Equi means equal and nox means night. Equinox is the time when all the places on the earth have equal day and night. On 21st March, and 23rd of September, the sun is directly overhead the equator. Means 21st March experiences spring or vernal equinox, whereas on 23rd September, it experiences autumnal equinox respectively. Let us understand the meaning of solstice. Sol means sun. And this means standing still of the sun. On 21st June, when the sun is shining directly overhead, the Tropic of Cancer and the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, it experiences summer solstice. The number of hours of daylight goes on increasing as we move to the north and beyond the Arctic Circle there are six months of continuous daylight. All places in Northern Hemisphere have their longest day on 21st June. That is known as summer solstice. 
Let us understand what is winter solstice. On 22nd December, the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere and the tilt of the axis brings the Southern Hemisphere closer to the sun, making it summer. Now when Southern Hemisphere is closer to the sun, obviously the Northern Hemisphere is away from the sun. Thus, the Northern Hemisphere experiences winter solstice on this day. This is also the shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere. Therefore, we can say that Northern Hemisphere experiences summer solstice on 21st June and winter solstice on 22nd of December. Students, this is all about the movements of the Earth and their effects. I hope I am able to reach to you in explaining what are the movements that is rotation and revolution and what are its effects. Let us do a small recap. There are two movements of the earth that is rotation and revolution. Rotation is the spinning of the earth on its axis from west to east once in 24 hours and it causes day and night. When the earth moves around the sun on its orbit once in 365 and one fourth days, it is called revolution. Seasons are caused due to the tilt of axis of the earth and its revolution around the sun. There are four main seasons that is summer, winter, spring and autumn. I hope it's clear to all of you. Students, I hope I have been able to reach out to each one of you. Now let us sum up the whole learning through a mind map. I want you all to make the mind map in your notebooks. It will help you remember today's learning very easily. Children, I will be sending the PDF of mind map in our WhatsApp group. Please do the given work sincerely. See you soon with the new learning video. Till then, thank you and stay safe.